Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ben Miller, and today I'm going to be walking you through the three steps to test our uh, mud when we're drilling down holes. So, one of our steps is going to be the uh, weight and density test, and we're going to use our mud balancing scale, and this is going to weigh our mud in pounds per U.S. gallons. Our other test is going to be the sand content test, and right here we have our sand content kit. It comes with the sand content tube and the funnel, and this will tell us how much sand is in our uh, drilling mud. And our other test is going to be the viscosity test, and we're going to me measure this by using the marsh funnel. So the first thing you're going to want to do out in the field, and the first thing that we're going to do in the lab, is we're actually going to mix up our mud and just get it moving, and uh, this will just give us a, a better representative sample uh, when doing the test. Okay, so for this test, by now, your mud is going to be thoroughly mixed in the container. And what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take your scale here. Make sure it's nice and clean. Take the lid off. And we're probably going to have to tip the bucket for this. And we're just going to make sure that we have a nice, full measuring cup of mud. So make sure that we've got it nice and full. With this test, it's important that when putting the cap on, you make sure you have some excess mud run off the top. There we go, we have some coming out of the top. Now this will let us, this will give us an exact amount inside the cup. It's important to have your cloth handy with you as well, clean off all the excess on the side. Make sure it's nice and clean and so that it won't interrupt our actual mud weight. We want an exact measurement of the weight. So there we go, it's nice and clean. Now you're gonna wanna bring it back over to your kit. Pinch right here, the knife point. You're gonna wanna pinch it when you set it down. Continue to pinch, and now we're going to measure it. Okay, so now that our uh, mud is in the measuring cup, it's balanced. Our measurement um, is shown that it is 8.7 pounds per US gallon. So this is actually under our desirable limits. Um, we wanna be below nine pounds per US gallon. And also just a, a tip that you might wanna remember when you're out in the field, if you ever wanna calibrate your uh, mud balancing equipment, just use um, some clean water and it should read 8.34 pounds per US gallon, and that'll give you, if it doesn't read 8.34 pounds, you'll know your instruments are not calibrated. Okay, so now that our uh, mud weight has been taken, the next test that we're gonna be doing is the viscosity test. And this is gonna tell us how viscous our drilling fluid is. And the desirable limits we want is uh, between 32 to 38 second uh, mud per quart container. So the instruments that you're going to be using today is a marsh funnel and your quart measuring cup. Also, a timer, and this will give you this will uh, time the viscosity of your mud. So for this test, you're going to be filling up the marsh funnel, and you're going to want to make sure that the mud falls right under this line, right below the screen, and that'll give you an exact measurement uh, of the amount of mud you need. So we're just going to start filling up here in our mud mixture number one. Also, when you're filling it up, make sure you pour it through the screen. That's imperative to do. Okay, almost there. As you can see, our mud is just right on that line, right underneath our screen. Okay, and now for this step, you're just going to measure the viscosity. So I'm going to let go of my finger. I'm going to start the timer. And then we're going to time to see how quick our uh, mud fills up the one quart container. So three, two, one, go. And there we go, our mud's filling up at a decent rate. So 
So there are our results right there. We can see that we have 35 second mud on the timer and this falls right between our desirable limits of having 32 to 38 second mud per cork uh, measuring cup. Okay, so for our final test, we're going to be doing our sand content test. And this just measures solids of particles over 200, uh, a 200 mesh size screen. So for this right here, we have our sand content measuring kit with our sand content tube, as well as our funnel with the screen in it. And then we have our mud right here. So we, uh, our desirable limits for the mud is we don't want any more than 2% sand by volume. And this tube will measure that and give us a representative sample of how much sand we have in our mud drilling fluid. So for the first step, we're gonna take our drilling fluid mud and we're, gonna, and we're gonna fill up the tube where it says mud to here. And then we're gonna take our water, which is right here, and it's distilled water. And we're gonna fill that up to the water line, which is marked here, just about three quarters of an inch below the tube. So, it's very important that your mud is continuously mixed and that you fill up to the mud to here line. And this will give us an exact sample. It's always good to just be nice and slow with it, allowing the stuff on the sides to fill the tube. You don't want to go over. Okay. So there you have it right there. We have our mud to here line filled with our mud. And now I'm just going to top it out with water. And there you have it. So our tube is filled. We have our mud to here and our water to there. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna invert the tube and you're gonna shake it. And this will allow everything to get mixed up and blend with the water. And then we'll <clears throat> put it over top of our screen. All right, so after mixing, you're gonna take your funnel right, or sorry, your tube right here and black side up and it has our screen in there. And once we have it nice and shaken up, you're just going to quickly and efficiently take your thumb off and dump your mud and all your sand is going to land on top of the screen. And as you can see, the quicker you did that, it took all our sand out of our vial there. So we have no sand left, so we know everything landed in the screen. And what you want to do here is you want to spray off all the sides and get all the residual mud off the sides and make sure all that water goes through the screen. And that uh, on the screen, all we have left is our sand because that's what we're measuring. It's a little hard to see, but we just have all our sand and everything just on top of that screen there. Okay, so now that all the sand has settled on top of the screen, what you're gonna wanna do is take your funnel and your cap, and you're gonna wanna put it on tape side up, just like that. Take your tube, put it on top like this, like so. And there we have it. Now all the sand is flipped through, and now we're gonna measure the sand content in our drilling fluid. And remember that your desirable limits, you want two, just under 2% by volume, or under 2% by volume is what we're, what we're hoping for, what we're looking for in our drilling fluid. So now you wanna spray that screen out. 
ensuring that you get all the sand on the screen. That's what we're doing. So things like that, there you have it. And as you can see too, as it fills up, we're starting to see the sand set out the bottom, so this is exactly what we want to see in this test. Okay, so now that we have done this test and the sand has settled, our measurement shows that we are right on the line of 1.5% uh, sand content by volume, and this actually is good because this falls under our desirable limits, which is 2% by volume. All right, so there we go. We've completed our three tests, our weight test, viscosity, and our sand content test. Thank you for taking the time to review this video and I hope it's beneficial to your drilling performance out in the field. And when in doubt, if you have any questions, always remember to contact the manufacturer or check their website for any uh, other helpful instructions that might help you better perform in the drilling industry.